So I don't run cables professionally for a living, but every once in a while in my house or helping out a buddy, you know, I have to run Cat5 or Cat6 cabling. And when it was Cat5 cabling, it was no big deal. I had some crimpers that I got at uh, Home Depot, some RJ45 ends that I got from there too, put them together. It was pretty simple to do. Um, but a couple of years ago, I switched over to Cat6, and this stuff is a heck of a lot thicker. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to work with. So I was trying to use my old tools, and it just really wasn't cutting it. And I'm going back to Home Depot, trying to check out what they had, went to Lowe's, tried a couple different tools, and I could not find anything that it was simple and easy for me to do. So I went online, went on to Amazon, and found this really nice, easy uh, crimping tool from Platinum, and they're easy 45, RJ45 ends here. I'll put the links to these tools in the description, but I'll show you guys how easy it is to punch or crimp a cable um, using these tools versus some of the other ones out there. So what I have here is just some Cat6 cabling. Um, what you're gonna do here is grab your, your cable stripper and you're gonna wanna take a generous amount off of this. And I'll show you guys why in a second. You're gonna want a generous amount. So don't worry about it. I remember with the Cat5, I was like, oh, I don't wanna take too much off of, of the outside because I want it to still go in there and, and, and hold on to the, uh, the outer portion there but with these it doesn't matter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off and you know, get your B standard or A standard whatever you're you're doing working here so first thing is with these cat six cables you got to cut out this little middle piece so I'm just gonna cut this out of the way and then you know work with your white orange orange standard here and if you forget they put on the side of this tool right here too so you've got the you've got the a standard and you've got the b standard um i don't know anyone that really uses the a standard but just in case you want to it's on here if not go for the b standard and we'll do the white orange orange white green blue all right, so once you get everything lined up, I've got white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And we're gonna trim off the ends, make it nice and clean so it's easy when we push it through the RJ45 end. So take your, your crimper tool here. It's got a little cutter on the side, a little razor blade built in. And we're trimming it off a little bit here. These things go flying usually. I wanna make sure it wasn't too bad. Then we're gonna take our RJ45 end, and the reason we didn't care about cutting it originally longer, the jacket, is because we're gonna push these ends, we're gonna push the wires right through the end of, of this RJ45, and then the tool cuts them off. So we're gonna take it, and we're gonna push our cable into it. Okay, and then just push it up so that way the jacket goes all the way up there and then you have the cable ends sticking all the way through the top. Obviously make sure they're in the correct order still. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your crimper tool and you're going to slide it through. And now as you crimp, it's actually gonna cut off those ends there. So when I go ahead and crimp it down, it cut off all the ends. You might get one that you gotta like just pick off, but that's it, you're set. So that literally took me, I don't know, a minute maybe to put all together and everything. I remember messing around with these things without these, these ends and you try to put it on, things get crossed and everything. This is really easy, pop out through the top. I don't have to worry about uh, cutting the jacket to the right length or anything like that. Just slide it through and, and crimp it and you're done. I'll put all the links to these products in the description here um, so that way you guys can purchase them if you'd like. Um, and that's it, thanks.